In the past few months, we've published a couple of robust reviews of a DSCR loans, a popular loan product that has entered the scene over the past few years. DSCR loans enable investors to qualify for a mortgage loan on investment property without consideration of personal income or DTI ratios, making these loans a top option for investors scaling portfolios, particularly for single-family properties. Qualifying for the best rates and terms for DSCR loans is primarily driven by three factors, leverage, property cash flow, and credit. After that, investors can use advanced strategies such as optionally structuring loan terms such as prepayment penalties, adjustable rate options, and borrowing entities to tailor to DSCR loans specific investing needs. DSCR loans are typically the best option for investors ready to scale, and first-time investors are usually better suited for conventional financing, which typically have slightly lower interest rates. Investors generally graduate to a DSCR product after having a few investment properties under their belt, since there are no limits on the number of conventional loans that can be used for investment properties. DTI qualification becomes much tougher with a growing portfolio, and the hassle and paperwork can become too much when trying to scale aggressively. While DSCR loans can be a great option for a first or second time investor, especially for ones who don't have a steady W-2 income, a growing portion of the population, by the way, the loan product is really best suited for investors looking to scale their way to financial freedom. Multifamily DSCR loans, typically eligible for properties with a range of 5 to 10 units, are structured very similar to normal DSCR loans, which can be quite a contrast in multiple ways with more traditional multifamily financing options, which are in closer in terms and structured to loans secured by commercial real estate, such as offices, retail, and industrial properties. Also, it is important to note that DSCR loans are the traditional small balance commercial real estate loans described here are applicable to stabilized or turnkey properties only. Properties that are fully leased or leasable require no immediate repairs or rehabilitation. Value add properties intended to undergo a substantial renovation or turnover are covered by different loan products. Typically, a, a, a bridge is more appropriate in that situation. Multifamily DSCR loans are 30-year loans and are fully amortized, fixed payment throughout, either from start or after interest-only payments for the first 10 years. Traditional multifamily commercial loans will typically be a 5- to 10-year term, amortized over a 20- to a 30-year schedule, and require a balloon payment at maturity, which creates an immense uh, refinance or selling pressure towards the end of the loan term. Uh, multifamily DSCR loans will tend to have higher interest rates, uh, excuse me, have interest rates that are a bit higher than traditional small balance commercial lenders. However, most real estate investors, especially those focused on cash flow, care more about the monthly payment rather than the interest rate. In fact, the math can be very surprising for a lot of borrowers when you crunch the numbers. Um, traditionally, DSER will stretch the 30-year terms and, and make the payments just about the same. While still a niche product to our knowledge, this product is strictly capped at properties with a specific unit range of 5 to 10. It is often surprising how many of these size properties do dot the map nationwide. And with current trends pushing communities towards building more multi-unit housing, it stands to reason this niche will only grow in terms of opportunity and volume over time. Multifamily DSCR loans should be in the toolkit for many real estate investor looking to scale a portfolio towards financial freedom. Now, if you're in need of an experienced commercial real estate broker, I can be reached at 281-222-0433.